Okay, today I'm going to show you a new single wire incandescent bulb made by my friend Griffin G. Brock. If you are questioning why this light bulb is special, it is because any other incandescent light bulb requires two wires. In fact, any other light bulb requires two wires. And now I will show you the light bulb. So the bulb is inside this box. My friend Griffin um, blew the glass and he pulled the vacuum on the glass. Basically, he did everything to make this bulb. So this bulb is a replica of Nikola Tesla's single wire incandescent bulb. Okay, I'm going to be running this bulb off of the high frequency electricity produced by this diathermy machine. Okay, I will be using the cauterizing terminal on the diathermy machine. That's that terminal. The electricity will flow through this wire, go into the bottom of this coil, which is tuned to resonate with the frequency of the diathermy machine. Then the electricity will come out of this end of the coil, and I'll connect this end of the coil to this bulb right there. Now I will show you why I use this coil in this circuit. It is tuned to resonate at the same frequency as this diathermy machine, so you'll see the difference it makes. First, I will touch this metal spoon to the cauterizing terminal before this coil, and then I will touch it to this terminal right here. And there, the bottom of this coil is connected to this cauterizing terminal. Okay, here we go. That's before. And this is after. Okay, now y'all saw the difference this coil made. It boosts the voltage. Okay, now I'm going to get this box and I'm going to put it on this table so that I can connect this single wire light bulb terminal to this terminal. Okay, now I'm going to test the single wire light bulb for the first time. It has to warm up. Okay, it hasn't warmed up yet, um, but it is like this whole circuit is lighting these, these fluorescent bulbs right there. Okay, so this coil boosts the voltage at a cost of amps. So it makes the amps drop down to boost the voltage. Um, but apparently there's not enough amps going into this bulb to make the carbon rod in there incandescent. So I'm going to connect the cauterizing terminal of the diathermy machine directly to the single terminal on this bulb. Okay, now let's see what this bulb does. Okay, I've once again connected it to this coil, and I'm going to touch it to get it to start warming up. So I'm adding capacitance to the circuit right now. Ow. Okay, I'm gonna need to touch my whole hand to this to get the carbon to glow incandescent. It's almost there. Okay, I have adjusted the position of the light bulb a little bit. Now watch the carbon filament closely and you'll notice incandescent form. There it goes, barely.
Now I will show you a picture of this light bulb when the carbon is incandescent. Incandescent means that it emits light as a result of heat.